this is Michelle Geomatics with a short video about a hidden tool in ArcMap for working with raster data. The tool is the Pixel Inspector. And if you haven't heard of the Pixel Inspector, it's because it's one of the hidden tools that you have to go after. So to do that, I'm going to go into Customize Mode. From the Customize menu, I'll go into Customize Mode. And in Customize Mode, I open the Customize dialog box, and I can start dragging tools off of toolbars. It's a place where you can do a lot of damage. So what I want to do is find a command. I'll search for it here in the search window. And as soon as you start typing in pixel, it should find the pixel inspector. And once you locate it here in the customized dialog box, you can drag it and put it onto one of your toolbars. I put it right there at the end of the standard toolbar. And then when you close, you're back in a normal mode where you can actually use this tool. So the raster that you see on my screen right now is the result of a slope analysis for an area in Flagstaff, Arizona. And I haven't symbolized it in any special way. If I show you the symbology, you see it's just a stretched raster and the values go from 0 to 57. These are percentages. And this is a single band raster, which means there's just one matrix, if you will, and the values in there are slope values. Now let's see, some raster formats allow you to open a table and some don't. This one does, but the tables are pretty scant. Object ID, there's a value that should range from 0 to 57, and then a count of how many pixels in the raster contain the given value. The Pixel Inspector tool works like the Identify tool. So let me zoom in here, and we should be able to see pixels. There we go, it's pixelated now. If I use the Identify tool and click on one of my cells, I can identify that cell. It tells me it has a value of 17, and it gives me the information from the attribute table that we just saw. If I use the Pixel Inspector, I can go and look at pixels for a larger area. So when I click on the tool, it opens the Pixel Inspector window, which is dockable. And then when I come in and click on the map, it shows me the pixel that I clicked on. It's highlighted. It's hard to see in this video, but it is this cell right here with the value of 10 and I can inspect the value of surrounding cells. Now if I hold the mouse down, you'll notice in the display area that there's a grid that displays on the raster which shows me the extent of the values that appear in the table. And it is dynamically linked to the size of the table. So if I make the table bigger and I click, you'll see a bigger graphic here that indicates a larger extent. If I make the table smaller, guess what's going to happen? It makes a smaller uh, little icon on the mouse, on the cursor. Alright, so the purpose of this is it allows you to take a look at the values that you click on. So if I click in an area where there's a lot going on with slope, kind of around here, I can see the trend. I see that there's um, a point where there's not much slope and then the slope gets steeper on either side. So this is the pixel inspector. Let's take a look at how it works when you have a multi-spectral raster. So I'm going to activate my other data frame which is for a different part of the country. Um, here I have an Esri base map image just to identify where I am. This happens to be the Lincoln Memorial and in Washington DC and I have a true color raster image from the Landsat satellite. So Landsat resolution is about 30 meters by 30 meters so you can barely make it out here but you see that I have three different bands. This is true color so red represents red, green represents green, and blue represents blue and I can use the pixel identifier or inspector 
and put it right over the Washington or the Lincoln Memorial. There we go. And I can start to read values. And if I'm really good at interpreting these values, I can start to see what's going on. Now, because this is a multi-band raster, I have multiple tabs down here at the bottom. So there's the red values, here are the green values, and here are the blue values. This would be very useful for displaying some infrared data. The rendered values are going to show me the same information for all three bands, red, green, and blue. So let me jump into the layer properties here and just change what ArcMap is displaying. So for red, I'm going to switch it over to the near infrared, and then I'll move the red here, and I'll move green into the blue spot. So I have a 4, 3, 2 aspect for those of you that are used to working with Landsat data. And the vegetated areas jump out at me in red. And so let's use the pixel inspector again. And I'll hover this uh, grid over these areas here. And you can see there's a walkway down the middle. And you can actually see that in the values reflected in the rasters. So these are the near infrared values. You can see those values have a much different profile than the red areas to the north and south. And if I take a look at the red band, uh, or sorry, the, the band number two, which is normally green, I have red values here, and then green values where blue should go. So you can play around with the pixel inspector. It makes life a little bit easier when you're working with your raster data, especially with multispectral satellite data such as that from Landsat. All right, I hope this tool is useful for you when you inspect your raster data. This is Michelle Geomatic saying thank you for watching.